They will certainly remain in chilly and rural spots overnight tonight with light winds and maybe one or two mist patches by dawn, but soon lifting. Their Eastern times for Monday, 5.44 and 8.36. Decent start tomorrow, mist lifting, some good sunny spells. But actually it's not just the sunshine we go to the beach for. Actually some of our best scenes can be seen at night. Have a look at these pictures here that have been oh, sent oh, in fantastic. over the weekend. Yeah, this was Holy Island. The Aurora Borealis, the northern lights to you and me were active and a lucky few got to see them. This was Wayne Calvert uh, take this on Saturday night and Ashley Corr uh, took this beautiful, stunning one here. Amazing. She says uh, the light show was amazing and lasted for over five hours. She left Sunderland at 6.30 on Saturday evening, got home at 6 a.m. on Sunday morning. Wow. So it was Worth a long it, night, but she says she was shattered yep. but completely ecstatic. And you would be wouldn't having you? seen that, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Sadly, things are changing. Here's the forecast. And into tomorrow, but really a fairly light breeze. Here is sunrise and sunset times, 5.31. Sunsets just before 9 o'clock tomorrow evening. And first thing on Monday, it'll be quite cloudy. A few... Hello, good evening. It has been a rather miserable start to the working week. Our first full week of the new year and it started with cloud and spells of rain and that is set to continue as we make our way through the next few days. Spells of rain, gusty winds and staying unsettled, of course. Uh, right, yes, yeah, so it is a bit wintry here. Uh, and what do you do when it gets wintry? You do this, you go sledging. It is, of course, half term, Penshaw Monument. There's enough there to get a good run going, isn't there? Just, so, yes. Just <laughs> no, we, we're desperate. We'll stop. Anyway, from old pictures to your pictures, uh, many of you have been sharing your photographs of the Northern Lights. Some great pictures coming up. Courtesy of you. Uh, the bright dancing lights of the aurora are caused by collisions between electrically charged particles from the sun that enter the Earth's atmosphere. Well, here's what you saw last night. Fabulous pictures, thank you for those. Hope we might see the same again tonight. Oh, fingers crossed. Mm. Hopefully they'll be visible after 11 o'clock and I'll be on my way home. Mm. <laughs> Let's go to <laughs> okay, some stunning scenes across the region today. Uh, this next one particularly actually was taken by Ashley Corr uh, in Harrington Country Park in Sunderland on his way back from a night shift. And I just think that's beautiful. But night shift, I'm thinking he probably missed the sunshine actually, didn't he? Hello there. It's been another cloudy, mild day today. Same again tomorrow, maybe a little bit more in the way of brightness. But then we open the floodgates to much colder weather on Tuesday. It'll all be revealed in just a second. But I had to show you this picture first. And Ashley Corr calls this one family tree. Love it. Thank you very much for that. So we're taking a look at what we can expect for this new week tomorrow. Mostly. It's always sunny somewhere. Thompson sponsors ITV Tyne Tees Weather. Hello again, some of the better, clearer spells coming through overnight tonight. It was a great start this morning, a big thank you to Ashley Corr for this great shot, but we have got a little bit more cloud from Tuesday onwards, so a chilly start on Monday. The best was, um, this was a photo taken this morning in York by well, that's June. Just Merck. That is, that's probably not the steam train there. All right, fine, move on. Um, but it wasn't for everyone, actually. Some of us had a beautiful start to the day, actually. The fog tends to be in the southern half of the region. For the rest of us, uh, that's a real. beautiful that's sunrise. That's a great photograph. That is great. Yeah, I mean, you probably surprised the swans with the flash there. You can see they were <laughs> probably not expecting that. But yeah, stunning start to the day, beautiful sunrise. Um, but yeah, things are starting to change a little bit. The clouds coming and going, but what we are going to notice is change a little bit. Uh, this was the scene behind me in Harrington Country Park earlier. The swans out enjoying the sunshine but over the next few days it is going to be cloudier there will be some rain for a time well first thing I've got to show you are a few weather pictures that we've had come in yesterday three rainbows to show you you can pick your favorite this first one from Mike in Hexham looking gorgeous over the bridge the next one in Seaham showing the showing the uh, Tommy statue looking lovely and the third one also from Seaham a uh, longer shot there showing the coast behind spring-like. I'm waking up to birdsong at the moment, which ties in nicely with this, actually. Uh, some of the photos you've been sending in over the last couple of days. Beautiful kingfisher here, uh, sent in by Alistair. And our swan correspondent, Ashley Corr, always sends the most stunning pictures. This one here, uh, taken just a couple of days ago. Third place where we're, we're really torn between Alan Harrison's uh, photo of the fisherman at Cauldron Snout in Upper Teesdale, which is a really impressive uh, battle with nature, 
and um, uh, Ashley Kors uh, photographed the Swan on Derwent Water, um, which uh, was a real, uh, real clear, uh, serene photo, but he said he had a real uh, struggle with midges uh, taking that photo, which is something we have to deal with a lot as well. So. Lovely there, yeah. but yes, it was a bit mixed today, as today's uh, weather pictures will show. They all come from high ground, bit of cloud uh, over uh, Carrick Fell there in Steve's shop, but moving further east onto the North Pennines. Uh, these sheep are enjoying a lot more uh, in the way of blue sky and sunshine there, Edmund Byers. Thanks to Tracy for that one. And finally, on the North York Moors, a lovely sight there, the heather in full bloom, and again, some lovely blue sky. Um, so some stunning scenes, one of my particular favourites uh, is the one here with a couple of swans in sent in by Ashley after his night shift. He said he was tired but worth it. I agree, is your forecast. But the sounds was echoing. I don't know about you, my yeah, dogs were going crazy sense. last night because it was so calm. The sound was echoing from everywhere. It gets better. But look at that, the reflection in the water. I don't yeah. think you can ask for better than that. But yes, you did have to wrap up warm because the temperatures were tumbling. And the reason for that, lovely area of high... In November winner is Ashley's photograph from Siam. We have chosen this image as it reminds us of one of the most important events in November, Remembrance Day. But you can still buy your copy of the calendar. They're selling quickly. You can get them on the Look North website. You can get them over the phone 0 333 2 £7 and all the profits go to children in need. Carol. I'm just reminding myself of these photos. They're amazing. Mm, exactly. Fabulous, aren't they? I love November in particular, and you'll have to buy one if you want to see it. <laughs> to find it. <laughs> That's it tonight. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Bringing you sunshine. Chewy sponsors ITV Tinties Weather. Hello, good evening. Weasdale Camp was just one of three local Met Office sites yesterday that broke the record for the warmest February day. And check out this good morning shot by Ashley Call of CM First Thing this morning. It's been it's a time to get out and about the family and tonight's first weather picture shows Ashley's shot of this family out and about between ponds at Herrington Country Park. Thanks for that one, Ashley. And the or you can, might be lucky and spot some noctilucent clouds with the sun just over the horizon. This is the only time of year when you see these clouds high up in the atmosphere, like Mike's shot there. Want to see some more? Well, here's some more on the Durham coastline in Ashley's shot there at Seam. The search is on for our May pictures. You can send them to us, email them to us, looknorthweather at bbc.co.uk. And that's what Ashley Corr did. Uh, take a look at his picture from earlier today. Lovely bright skies and such a cute family there. <laughs> a lovely shot. Thanks for that, Ashley. That was before uh, the cloud thickened up.